Hello guys, I wanted to make a quick little video on cleaning up your PC. I know it's that a lot of really really skilled computer users and uh, PC technicians per se, also IT technicians, don't know how to clean up a computer. Well maybe they do, but they're not really very, what is it, they're not very uh, thorough with their policies. So I'm just going to show you guys a quick easy way to clean out your PC. Um, it's quick in the terms of computing and virus scans. I mean, this shouldn't take you longer than maybe 3-4 hours and your PC can be completely clean. Now, of course, this literally isn't going to work that well when you have, what, uh, 150 computers to th maybe 1,000 computers in an IT environment. But, when you do have the time, I really recommend doing this. However, I want to note that this does not... This absolutely does not replace having to actually go through yourself, looking through the registry, looking through task manager, looking through your files just to make make sure everything's good. You want to take a closer look at things sometimes, okay? Alright, so all the links to these softwares will be provided in the description. This is just some of the basic stuff. No side I didn't include Malwarebytes in here, however you can run a scan with adapter. I recommend running a scan with these in safe mode. However, if you have a hardened boot disk, I highly, highly, highly recommend just running a scan with that with one of the tools like let's say Super NSVAR and the hardened boot disk. You run a scan with that and then you boot up into safe mode and you run a scan with the other stuff. Alright, so we're gonna get ready. The first thing I'm going to actually do is I'm gonna run CCleaner. I'm just going to click no because I'll update right after this video. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll through. No, 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 no. That's all good. Let's just say that's all good. I don't really know personally, but because I haven't really looked, but uh, here we go. It's going to run a cleaner. This will save you on some uh, t scanning time because you don't really have to go through all the temporary files with the scanning. You're just basically clearing out a lot of them. There's still going to be a couple that will be scanned, but not quite as much. You can run through the registry cleaner if you want to, but you don't really have to. Alright, after that, I'm going to run ADW cleaner. I forgot to have my folder over here. Do you know what? I'm going to go download it. Grab the latest version. I recommend downloading from Bleeping Computer. If you guys are actually looking for good utilities, Combo Fix is absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna run through it a whole lot. I am going to, however, talk about some of the stuff you can do and how good it is. However, some of the side effects of it. Which could be a completely destroyed PC that you're probably going to have to try to recover. This is mostly going to be in French like the little buttons here but don't worry about it. Just click I accept. And when you start scanning a lot of your windows will close if not all of them. So I'm not going to scan because it would close the recording window. So once you go through here you can just click through all this stuff. And then it will give you options on whether or not you want to remove this so you can undo the check mark and if you're really not sure about whether or not they're actually there if you're skeptical the path like the path to the actual file or the registry key will be provided for you so that's pretty good right after that you just click clean and close that guy and just open this back up after that I like to run TDSS killer basically what this is is it's a rootkit slash bootkit remover it isn't super duper comprehensive, but it does a pretty damn good job, and that's why it's used a lot. Load update. Open.
There we go. Accept. Accept. Of course, after carefully reading through, you can go through here, but you really, really don't have to. You can select that, but you have to do a reboot. Click Start Scan. It really shouldn't take that long. As you can see, it'll just run right through it fast. Alright, there's no rootkit slash bootkits from what TDSS Killer says. Of course, rootkits and bootkits are kind of a pain to find and get rid of, but you don't really have to worry about them as much right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to run our kill, and I'm not going to run that because there's a possibility of it, let's say there's a possibility of it closing the recording program that I have right here, so I'm not going to run it right away. What you guys do is you just click on it, and once you click on it, it opens up a little DOS prompt. Looks like command prompt. And uh, you just basically go through it. It's fairly easy to do. It's not really difficult. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run Super Anti Spyware Free Edition. Now what happens is that it usually has a splash screen. You just wait for that to complete, and that's preloading the software. And you just click it. You close. Check for updates always before you scan. This software practically has daily updates. If you want, you can look through all the different uh, updates I had to the uh, definition file. Alright, so what you're going to want to go to do, what you're going to want to do is go to System Tools and Settings. There's a lot of really cool stuff around here. You can use it if you want to. Like this part, I really like. It's just a basically repair tool. If there's any damaged Windows settings or any damaged registry keys, you can just click it and you can repair it. So let's say a virus that you had disabled task manager, you can click it, re-enable task manager, repair ch repair checked items. We don't need to do that since my task manager works. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to pre preferences. Alright, now that we're at preferences, we're going to go to scanning control. What usually will be is those will be clicked and uh, and we don't want those clicked, we don't want it like that. So what you're going to want to do is you go on to unclick this, you're going to unclick this, and you're going to unclick this. Alright, basically we want it to scan everything, and then you're going to click terminate memory threats before quarantining. Alright, then you're going to go back. If you want, you can explore some of the stuff in there, but you really don't need to. If you have any suspicious files that you want to submit, you can submit it. Just click browse. There you go. Back home. Alright, so we're here. You want to click complete scan. Enable rescue scan. Highly infected systems only. Do not worry because this will not damage your system if you click this. And might cause a little bit of anxiety in some people, but do not worry whatsoever. Basically what it is, it's like I basically think of it as a more in-depth scan, okay? So you click on that, scan your computer. What I like to do is I like to select all the drives, which is really not needed for my PC since I know it's fine. However, what could happen is a malware, this malware could attach another drive to your PC or almost like take partition part of your drive and use like say 25 gigabytes of space and in that space they could have some crazy virus or something not that I've heard of it happening a lot but it's a possibility so you want to scan all those these I basically have so much because of virtual machines I have a second drive right here to storage drive this is a system reserved partition this is the main drive it's a solid state drive now if you want you can activate scan boost, high boost, or low boost. I usually put it on low boost for Windows XP systems or no scan boost. You can activate it if you want. It really doesn't matter. It's going to disable it. 
Alright, then you want to cl click check for unwanted programs before the scan starts. And there's really not much of a need to do this if you already ran ADW Cleaner beforehand, but I mean, may as well. Eh, that stuff's fine. Click scan. I'm gonna stop it. Yes. Whoa. Alright, now we're gonna check our little document here. Alright, so we've ran TDSS Killer. We ran ADW Cleaner. We ran C Cleaner. We ran Super NS Spyware. Now we're gonna run Herd Protect. And now Herd Protect is really cool. I'm not really gonna get into the technical aspect of it right now. I'm going to produce a second video on it later on. However, I do want to show you guys this because it's pretty damn awesome. Herd Protect Scanner. There we go. Alright, initializing, connecting, and preparing. Basically what this is, is it's a uh, cloud-based uh, malware scanner and it scans... It sort of scans your files against, what, 61 different uh, antivirus engines? I'm not quite sure how many exactly, but it's pretty cool. I'm just going to click scan. Right now, I'm not sure if they have any settings. I guess they do. But you can go through that. You just click scan. You can leave that running. It doesn't take very long, but uh, it's pretty good. Uh, also, I do want to mention that you're going to probably find a lot of false positives when you're doing this or when you're running any type of scanner, basically. However, I do not want you to remove anything that's a false positive, so you want to be sure that it's a virus. For example, let's say uh, hit flag Steam over here. I have multiple monitors, so I just grabbed it over. Let's say it just flags, flags Steam over here, and it removes Steam. I mean, I might not have access to these games if it removes Steam. I'd probably have to reinstall Steam. I'd have to go sign into Steam and go through my email just to get in all that stuff. But uh, basically, you just don't want to remove any false positives. I'm going to stop the scan. Uh, I'm just going to stop the scan. It might take a little bit to stop the scan, but it's fine. Right now I'm using uh, Screencast-O-Matic, which really isn't my favorite choice, but I'm just using it because it was a quick thing and it works. But uh, the, my only problem is it sort of eats up a lot of resources. So we're just going to go here. I'm going to go to Herd Protect. i kill this guy. There we go. So we just ran Herd Protect. Now we're going to go to this little company that I absolutely love. It's called ESET. I highly, highly, highly recommend their well, ESET Smart Security Project. It's one of the best antivirus products I've tried out there. Alright, so we're just going to download something, I guess. Some utilities right here. Just click on that. You have ESET Online Scanner. This is actually kind of cool right here. ESET Sys Rescue Live. Then they also have another cool thing, it's ESET Sys Inspector. Don't really need to worry about that right now. We're actually going to go through it in a separate video. And actually, I might want to go through that in a separate video as well. Because I've never seen that yet. So we're going to start by running ESET Online Scanner. Just click that, you install it. Now we're going to go to Malware Removal Tools. You can just go through here if there's a specific type of malware that you want to remove. I mean, chances are that it might be right here. Like a little removal tool. So ERA Remover, ESET Rogue Applications Remover. Just download it. 32-bit, 64-bit, the way you find out is computer, right-click, properties.